New tonight at 6, getting answers for Olivia. It's been two weeks since the three-year-old girl was found dead, buried near a walking trail in Kansas City, Kansas, the same day an Amber Alert was issued for her disappearance. Her father, Howard Jansen, and his girlfriend, Jacqueline Kirkpatrick, are charged in relation to the little girl's death. Now, family members have told us they did place calls to the Kansas Department for Children and Families before her death. 41 Action News has asked for weeks now to see what information, if any, the agency has on Olivia. Here's I-Team reporter Jessica McMaster. Kansas Department for Children and Families initially told us they'd give us a summary of Olivia's file last week. That got delayed to this week. And now the agency says they don't know when they'll release any information they have on her. DCF was called, uh, the police department was called. The grandparents of three-year-old Olivia Jansen say they tried to save their grandbaby, but help never came. Earlier this month, police found Olivia's body near the home she was staying at with her dad and his girlfriend in KCK. The baby was always so unhappy to go home. She would frown and say, you love me, you're not mad yeah, at me, yeah, I, I, come back, I come back, I come back, back and I told her week. I will hurt anybody that keeps you away from yeah. me. But just how many calls were placed to the Kansas Department for Children and families for help. It's been two weeks since the I team first asked that question. And while the agency initially told us it would provide a summary of Olivia's file to us last week, we still haven't received it. She was beautiful and vibrant and smart. An email from a DCF spokesperson Friday morning states DCF has not determined if Olivia died from abuse and that it cannot legally release that information on her until then. But with Olivia's dad and girlfriend in jail charged with her murder, why the delay? The agency wouldn't give a reason. Records 41 Action News obtained show Kansas City, Kansas police were called to the home Olivia was staying in five times since the start of the year. One of those, a juvenile abuse call on June 2nd. While the records don't make clear if any of those calls pertain to Olivia, her grandparents say at least one call. A call from them did. Yeah, they say they knocked on the door and nobody answered. Well, you know, did you really expect them to answer? Since DCF has now delayed our request for information on Olivia twice now, we asked the head of DCF to speak with us about the agency's process for determining if a child has died as the result of abuse so that the public could better understand why that information isn't being released just yet. So far, the secretary has not agreed to speak with us about the process. Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. Thanks for the update, Jessica. The next hearing for Jansen and Kirkpatrick is scheduled for Tuesday.